Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sabrina and I am the owner of Sab Steffies. Today I want to talk to you about all things mini Beatrice the Bumblebee. So I created this chunky finger knit bee about two years ago and this year I decided that I would like to do a DIY kit for it and also share my pattern slash video tutorial for it. So this is my mini Beatrice the Bumblebee DIY kit. It comes with all of the supplies. It comes with a video tutorial going through step by step on how to do it. It comes with a Beatrice the Bumblebee sticker, the polyfill, the yarn, and then all you need is a pair of scissors to complete this kit. So I have the kit all done and then today is the release of just the video tutorial for the mini bee. Okay, so let's talk about the video tutorial itself. So in the video tutorial, I share with you the supplies that you need, which is just the yarn and the polyfill. I share with you what color I use for the mini bee, but of course for the video tutorial, you can use whatever color you want. I had amazing testers test out this pattern for me. A lot of my testers chose a number of different colors to work with to create their bees in different colors, which I thought was really awesome. I typically just stick with the traditional yellow, black, and white, which is what the colors are that come in the kit. But of course, if you're purchasing just the video tutorial and you have different colors on hand that you want to use or go shopping for, you can definitely do that too. So I go over the colors I use, the yarn you, you need, all the supplies that you need in the video tutorial. And then for the video tutorial itself, it is beginner friendly, so I go through each step as slow as possible. And because it is a video tutorial, you can always pause, rewind, and slow down the videos so that you can continue to practice each step along the way until you get it down, which is what I really love about having a video tutorial instead of just written instructions. So speaking of the written instructions, it does come along with a simple pattern guide that you can follow along, which kind of serves as an aid to go along with the video tutorial. I wouldn't recommend starting with a simple pattern guide on its own. I definitely recommend watching the video tutorial. And then as a supplement, you can also read the instructions on how it's made as well. And then once you go through the video tutorial once or twice and you complete your B, you can go ahead and just use that simple pattern guide as a guide as you go to continue to make more bees. And then to show you what you actually receive when you go to purchase the video tutorial, you will receive a document that looks pretty much exactly like this. It comes with the QR code and direct link to the video tutorial, and then it has a simple pattern guide here. And then on the back side are these pictures which have the 12 steps to the mini B, which can also be used along with the simple pattern guide. So that again is a digital download, so you won't receive a physical copy in the mail unless of course you do the DIY kit instead, but it is a digital download, so you'll receive it digitally. So there has been a lot of work that has gone into the Mini B DIY kit plus the video tutorial. It's been so fun working on it for you guys so that you can create your own Mini Beatrice the Bumblebee. Also, this mini bee is my best seller at my market. So if you do craft fairs or markets, whatever you want to call them, you will definitely want this mini bee in your inventory when you go to markets because this is what draws people into my tent. So I have them on all sides of my tent to help draw people in. And this is definitely my most talked about product on my shelves when I'm at markets. So this is a great addition to add to your markets and I highly recommend bringing mini bees along with you. So I think that's all the information about the video tutorial and pattern and DIY kit for the mini Beatrice the Bumblebee. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching.